Ring, ring, ring. Felix, I can't stand it anymore. I'm going to smash you. I still don't understand what's going on here. Is he just breaking into somebody's house who just happens to have a random picture of Kitty on the wall? And then getting a call from the professor because he somehow knows Felix is there? Am I just overthinking this or am I just not am I just missing something out of completely? Oh no, we have we have to deal with these giant snowballs now. I'm having Super Mario 64 flashbacks. Crap, I was hoping I could destroy that with my stars. My stars. Should be another heart around here, very close to here. Should be in the next couple of goes. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the stars are pretty good for this section because you can attack in all directions, like I said. You just have to be careful because you can't hit multiple enemies with it. If you're running up against two enemies, you have to hit, keep hitting the button so that you restart it as soon as one of them dies. We also have the car, but we got hit. Now we're back to the stars. And the fish are moving. The fish are stuck inside ice, and they all look exactly the same. They're all stuck and moving, and they're like, help me. Help me, we don't want to be stuck in the ice. Don't leave us. Ooh, milk. Ice cold milk. And a bag. I want to see what's in the bag. I think I gotta jump from here. There we go. Whoa, don't overshoot it, Felix. Come on. I just said the jumping controls in this game are great. Need that heart? I want that heart. Awesome, just in time. I was about to disappear. Very close to 50,000 points, or 500,000 points. Well, careful now. And we get the tank. Alrighty. I like the tank. You get to arc your shots with it. That's a bit more uh, challenge with controls. That's what I like about this game. The power-ups are generally more useful than one another, but they all have totally different attack styles. And the horn is very short, but it has a... It's not quite as short as the uh, boxing glove. And they're all just kind of slightly different than one another. Some of them, but they are also definitively better than one another. They each have particularly longer range. And the upgrade from the punching bag to the top, or the punching glove to the top hat is pretty much the same distance, but it goes in all directions, then you upgrade to the car, and that goes only forward, but it goes longer. Then you have the tank, which goes the furthest, but it's harder to control. So it's kind of a risk-reward scenario. The harder the weapon is to use, the more damage it tends to deal. Again, something that reminds you of Wacky Races, where you kind of upgrade your abilities. I know, am I teasing a future Let's Play of that game? Who knows? I remember renting that game from Blockbuster one year, a long time ago. It's a tough game, too. I remember the bosses were pretty tough if you didn't have the Sonic Bark, because Muttley's attack was just super short range. It's even shorter than this, if you can believe that. So, like, the Atomic Bark was the only thing you'd be able to kill something from fairly far away. What is up here? Oh, nice. Good thing I went up here. I want to see what's in this bag. Heart and some milk. Awesome. Upgrade us to our tank. Kill that gangster bird. He's wearing those, like, blind guy sunglasses. It's kind of weird. And, oh, it says Felix. Ha. Ah. And we fell out of it. We fell out of the E. I'm gonna kill you, bat. What's with the bats in these games? Const all these games that have bats in them. Not quite sure why they didn't just do it in all heads or... No, it seems like a weird thing to only just do the top two letters with something. Because you, you expect, like, you pick up the heads and then it says something else. Now it says... Refrain. Or upside down it says... Veerful. Verful. There. It says verful upside down. 
I don't know what that means. Tell me what that means in the comments. I just air juggled that bat without even trying. Get over here, gangster bird. I want to kill you so I can go down into here and kill your boss. It's Poindexter again. And now he is summoning snowballs that we can destroy in one hit. I'm not even I'm not even using the left side of my controller, and I just destroyed him. That was easy enough. Very easy. We get 60,000 points for it. Next time on Felix the Cat, the points continue to go down. Nope, gotta keep going. Yes. Is there any points in here? No, there isn't. That takes us to our goal. I think that's it for this episode. Yep, Felix is laughing, so that's the end. Right after this cutscene. Felix! You did a good job getting here, but this will be our last battle. Click. Next time on Felix the Cat, round eight. And, ooh, a new level. But you can't see what it looks like yet. <laughs>